At our 7th Marine Conservation Conversations, we discussed a paper by Estes et al. titled Sea Otters, Kelp Forests and the Extinction of Stellar Sea Cow. It truly is the sad story of the Stellar Sea Cow that was only discovered by a chap named Stella in 1741 in the Lucian Islands. By 1768, this species was extinct. Its extinction is thought to have been caused by um, hunting, so a direct, basically, um, hunt that resulted in a reduction in their numbers. But this paper really looks at perhaps the fact that there was another cause for its extinction, um, an indirect cause. So at the same time, in the same place, you, have, you had sea otters living, sea otters that fed on sea urchins, and these uh, sea urchins in turn fed on kelp. So um, sea otters were also hunted at the time, largely because they have some of the densest fur of all the animal kingdom. In fact, each square inch in some of the densest parts can have a million furs. And as they were hunted, their numbers decreased. As their numbers de decreased, sea urchins, their prey, increased in numbers because they were released from their predators. So there was nothing to control them biologically. And that resulted in the decimation of the kelp beds. So the problem for the stellar sea cow was that the sea cow also fed on kelp. So with the reduction in kelp beds, this meant there was less food for the stellar sea cow and that potentially could have driven the numbers of the stellar sea cow down, causing ultimately their extinction. During this session, we also learned a couple of new key concepts, um, trophic cascades and keystone species or ecosystem engineers. Really important concepts for us to truly understand this paper and really what they were talking about. A trophic cascade is an ecological cascade triggered by the hunting of another species. A keystone species basically is one that has a pivotal role in keeping an ecosystem balanced and healthy. Mesa predator release is where populations of medium-sized predators rapidly increase in ecosystems after the removal of larger top carnivores. And ecologically extinct species are those that are reduced to such low abundance that although they're still present in the community, they no longer interact significantly with other species. This is the reference to the paper that we discussed at our 7th Marine Conservation Conversation. If you'd like to join our next session, do follow us on social media at OceanSwell.org.